If you need to access submission files offline instead of viewing them directly from the Dropbox's document viewer, you can download submissions to your computer. You can also leave feedback in the download submission files and upload the feedback to the Dropbox's folder in the form of attachments. Files are attached to each of the user's submission evaluation. This will not grade the submissions automatically, but will attach the marked up file to each of the student's submission. This tutorial is for performing this task on a Mac. If you have a PC, Computer, please review the tutorial on how to do this task on a PC. Click on the Submission Review tab on the navbar, click Dropboxes. Click on the name of the Dropbox you want to view the submissions. You may need to scroll down and click on the top checkbox next to Download to select all of the submissions. Click Download. A window will pop up creating a zip file. When the zip file is created, click on the name of the file and make sure that you click Save File and not Open. Click OK. If you're asked where to place the files, select a location on your computer. If you're not asked, the files are most likely in your Downloads folder. And that's where they are on my machine on the Downloads folder. I'm going to click Close on the pop-up window. And I'm going to navigate on my computer where the zip file was saved. Again, if you're not prompted, they're probably in the Downloads. So in my case, I'm going to click here in my downloads. I'm going to click on the zip file. That will automatically extract the file and create a folder. So the individual folder with each of the student submission will be seen. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that so I can see the, each of the folders. I'm going to go ahead and open up the first submission, student submission. And then I'm going to open up the submission file. Now depending on the file type, you may be able to electronically mark up the file. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all have a review tab where you can add uh, comments. So in this case, I'm in Word. This is Word 2011. I can click Review, click New, put my comment in. Make sure you click Save. And now I can go ahead and close that. I can now navigate back to the next student submission. And again, this is, happens to be a Word file. So open up in Word, and again, I can do another review on this one and another marking up here. Again, it's important to click Save and go ahead and close that. So now, once you, after you've marked up all the files, uh, you don't want to change the file names. So you save those files. Now what I need to do is to zip up the files. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to where the folder exists. I'm going to right click on the folder. I'm going to do compress. When I click compress, it's going to create a zip file and it's going to have a number two in it. I can now close this and you should be back still in the submission of Dropbox area. Click on the add Dropbox files button. Click upload. I'm going to navigate and find that file that has the two on it, the zip file. I'm going to select it click open then I'm going to click add so what's going to happen next is you're going to see a processing window will appear this may take a minute or two depending on the files that you have what you're going to see is a message about feedback requiring distribution just ignore this message and don't click on anything just click close you're going to see something about a number of files getting attached so now you still need to assess each of the submissions. So this has now uploaded the files to each of the students, but it still hasn't evaluated it. I'm going to go ahead and click on the student's um, file name, which is going to bring me into the submission area. And now I'm going to scroll down, and here's where it gets a little tricky on the Mac side, because I have a whole slew of other files. What I need to do is click on the X on all of the files except for the one that is the, the student's test file that I submitted back with the comments. And you're going to know that's the one because it has the KB in it. You'll see another one that is similar that it has bytes. You can go ahead and safely delete that. You can then come up here, put in the student's grade, and go ahead and click Publish. And if you don't believe me, I can click on that. That'll open up just to show you that the comments are there. And there's my comments. So you can see that's the file the student can click on the view comments. Then I would go to the next student, and I have to perform the same task. I'm going to close this. I'm going to X this. I'm not going to X this one. 
I'm going to go ahead and X this one, but this one's the same, but this one has bytes in it. So I'm going to get rid of those. Again, put in the student's grade, and I'm going to click Publish, which push, pushes the grade to the gradebook. When I'm done grading everything, click back to the folder submissions. And when I'm done there, click the folder list breadcrumb links to take me back to my Dropbox folder list.